Hi Capricorn, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your weekly reading for January 28th, January 22nd through the 28th. This is generally a love reading. We will see what comes up. Right now I am shuffling the Ask Angels deck. So what I'd like you to do is ask a question and at the end I will reveal their answer. I don't know why these cards stick. We're also going to get an overall energy from this deck. I think that's the one. What about you? Partnerships and alliances. I believe that that is equivalent to the Three of Wands. Okay. We are going to use the Thelema. It's about realizing, realizing your goals, working together. Zoe, my dog's chewing her bone, so I do apologize. And I really, by looking at that card, it really feels like you need to broaden your horizons and be open to learning new things, okay? There may be, there may even be some travel in the future where you gain some insight from somebody that is um, completely different than you, okay? I feel like you, you might have the opportunity to learn something from somebody that is in a completely different uh, mindset than you are, okay? I just feel like there's you're being offered some new knowledge, okay? Perhaps in an unexpected way. You do have a new opportunity here, okay? And you're being called to look at things from a new perspective. And that makes a lot of sense with that partners partnership it partnerships and alliances card i feel like you are receiving some new opportunity that's really exciting you know and this could involve some travel but you know i think that you're really being called to to look at this from every angle okay because you, you that's what you're being called to do really really look at this from every every angle um Now, you may have a new partner coming into your life. If you're single, I just have to throw this out there. If you are single, you could have somebody coming into your life, a new a sexual partner that brings a lot of passion and excitement. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could also be a Virgo. And this person could be of a different race than you. So I just want to throw that out there. Um, you, you are a different um, culture all together but I feel like you've been going through or who somebody that's watching this has been going through a difficult time maybe even a midlife crisis feeling pretty lonely I think that there's been some relationship trouble um, and there's a dream there's a dream that is starting to die or has died okay and now you've come to this thought process you've come to this um, conclusion that you're probably just going to live the rest of your life alone, which I don't think that's the case, but I'm telling you what you're thinking because the last relationship didn't work out. And I think this is for single people. You know, I think you're really called to look at things from a different perspective. You could have a new opportunity with someone from abroad, 
okay? That's what I see. Um, there's definitely some travel in the future for some of you, okay? Uh, where you're, you're going to be probably called upon to go overseas or go somewhere, you know, travel over a big body of water anyway, you know, and that's where you might meet this person if you're single. But if you, this is not the case, then I feel like you are headed in the right direction either way. You just, you need to change your course. You need to change your thinking. You need to think positively. You need to get creative. You need to bring your self-esteem and your self-confidence back. Okay, there's I feel like there's a lack of uh, self-worth here and you know, you really have to master your emotions to get over this. Okay, so this is becoming becoming the leader in your own life, taking charge, taking ownership, moving forward um, and spinning the wheel in your favor. Right now it's not spinning because it looks like you guys are lacking the energy, you're lacking the drive to to make the changes that you need to make. And I feel like you're lacking the drive because there's been some some relationship problems in the past. And now perhaps you're blocking out something um, because of the heartache that you've been through, of course. You know, and here you are, but you could have also been deal dealing with another Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have Cancer, we have Virgo, and we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. I feel like you've been dealing with somebody who may be conceited, okay? You may be dealing with somebody who's conceited and only thinking of themselves. And now this person is probably holding you back from, from fulfilling your dreams, fulfilling your wishes. I see I, because of the mental state that they've left you in, okay? They, they've left you in a state of... Uh, despair okay I feel like you have some uh, some grief okay you're going through a grieving period right now and that's why that chariot is here because you need to look at it from this new perspective of this is um, a transformation okay instead of looking at, at looking as at it as a loss Look at it as a time of transformation. That's what I see. You have the ability to change this course, to change your course, to change your life whenever you're ready. But I feel like many of you are going through this uh, midlife crisis because it feels like no matter where I go, I'm going to be let down. You know, that kind of energy. Let me zoom this in and then we will go on. <laughs> there's certainly you know i'm going to reiterate this again there's for many of you either moving or traveling to a different completely different culture is on the horizon okay um let me just get some clarification here i want you know it feels like you're dealing with two people, and I feel like one of them is your ex. I be, could have a possibility for new love, but the ex is still on your mind. And because of that, things are stalled. Because of that, you feel like you can't move forward. It's like you're not going anywhere because of this ex. You know, but it is time to love yourself again. It's time to be give yourself compassion and to shine and to be beautiful and to let your beauty shine. It's time to create. It's time to nurture yourself. Um, it's really, really time for you to be loved without expectations, okay? This is you, and this is love without expectations, and I feel like you have a creative side that is just itching to get out there. I feel like many of you have this um, idea, this creative idea that you that you could share, okay, and profit from, all right? Just, let's get some more cards. But you need to take action. You need to really, instead of, think, instead of thinking about it, just do it. Just do it. Whatever you're thinking about that could 
make you happy and let your artistic abilities come out, do it. This is saying that you have a good idea, okay? I think you have a very good idea that could really be or have potential to grow into something big and fruitful and um, secure, which could make you some money, okay? I think that somebody that's watching this has an idea, a creative idea, perhaps to start their own business that could make them some money, but they're stalling because they're trying to think, just do it, just do it. Interesting. But the thing is, is I feel like things are unbalanced for you right now and I think it's because of two people in your life. I think you have two people in your life that are causing a lot of imbalance, okay? And think and you feel like you just can't move forward at this point. Yeah, I think there's a lack of uh love here. You're wanting more. You're wanting more. You're dealing with somebody who's probably not giving it. And you're looking for more love. And I think that's what's at the top of your list right now. Even though you have this creative idea, I feel like you're really looking for love. And you're not getting it. And it's and it's hindering your progress in every other area of your life. All right? Um, yeah, you're clinging to the past. You are clinging to the past. And that's too bad. If you cling to the past, then that's where you'll stay. It's time to do the right thing for you. You also may be going through some legal matters right now. Or you are worried about the upcoming legal matters. I mean, you could have... The thing is, is I think you probably have a choice between two people. But... And that's not for everybody. For somebody, they have a choice between two people. But I think they're, they're dealing with somebody. Could be a fire sign who is pretty... Um, conceited and and wants her wants her uh dues okay and she will go to any any um means to get them all right so i feel like somebody is being held back by an ex and perhaps legal matters maybe you're waiting on a divorce i don't know i feel like there's some legal issues that are holding you back from from this renewal that you so much need and I feel like it is time for a transformation it's time for a renewal it's time to let go of the past to stop clinging to it because I see that you're wanting more but you're holding on you're holding on you're procrastinating when it's really over it is over it's like you know that it's over whatever something is over but you're just not letting it go all right, it's like you have this idea that for some reason it's going to come alive again. It's going to come alive again, whatever this is, you know, that, that your past is going to, whatever happened in the past is, it was just a setback and it's going to come alive again, you know, but, um, these cards tell me that it's time to let go. I think you're dealing with somebody who has a big ego and, at one time, perhaps it fulfilled your wishes, but right now, you're going to have to struggle through this. In the past, it fulfilled your wishes, but right now, you're being called to let go and struggle through this, whatever it is. I think you may be dealing with a Leo, and this Leo is probably holding you back, unfortunately. Um, you know, it feels like they're very down, sad, depressed, uh, not communicating. And this could be any sign taking on these energies. I think you're dealing with somebody who has a big ego and they aren't listening, they aren't communicating, and they're causing you problems. But this Empress card is here to say that you have the ability for a renewal. You have the ability to start over. You have the resources within you to do whatever you want. Okay? You really do. Then when that Empress card comes out, it tells me that you are beautiful. Alright? You're beautiful inside and out. You have a beautiful soul. So don't forget that. Alright? This Seven of Swords says that it feels like something. somebody is going to get caught doing something. 
the truth is going to come out about something. Yeah, so the truth is going to come out. And you know what it is. It feels like you're dealing with somebody, this, this fire sign. I think it's a fire sign. It's either a fire sign or a, a uh, air sign. So it's either Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, or or Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But I'm I'm shooting for the fire sign. I really feel like somebody has been holding, keeping secrets from you. And you know what these are, okay? You know that they've been keeping secrets. And perhaps those secrets are going to come out. And maybe they'll help you to let go of this person. But it may bring about some legal matters, okay? Because there is some potential legal matters here. But this is for the week of January 22nd. You know, you, you could be scheduling travel. You could be thinking about, and I mentioned travel a lot because it's here. Either you're scheduling it or you're thinking about it. You may be thinking about moving, like moving out of your house, okay? I mean, there's definitely somebody is thinking about moving and getting away from a, a situation where there's there's no contentment it's like I'm, I can't be content in this period you are you don't even communicate with me I think you're dealing with somebody who lacks communication in a very big way and you you're being offered something new Capricorn it's like you have a new opportunity right in front of you you have a new security a new stability because I don't think this had much to do with you I really don't I mean, it takes two to tangle. I know it does. But I feel like I see a new partnership. That's what I see. I think I see a new partnership on the horizon for you. Uh, possibly with somebody of a different culture. Okay. And I, you could be considering moving. Like moving right out of wherever you're at now. Getting the hell out of there. Acting on your hunches because you're looking for something more. You're looking for excitement. You're looking for... Um, Jeez, I'm cold. My mind just went blank. Don't you hate it when that happens? You're looking for expansion. You're looking for growth. You're looking for newness. And with this person, it's like there isn't any. It's like they've lost their drive. I think you're dealing with somebody who has no drive whatsoever. And you've come to the point where, geez, I can't, I can't do this anymore. I don't know who this is for. But I feel like you are have a new offer right in front of you. And it could bring you a lot of security and stability if you would just accept this offer. Because I feel like you, you've been walking on eggshells. You have. And it's like, you know what? It's time for me to stand my ground. I'm not going to let you criticize me anymore. We're just going to let this end. It's time for it to be over. I feel like there's been a betrayal here and somebody gets caught, whether it's you or the other person, there's been some kind of betrayal and it could be a third party situation because of this, this three right here, this three of uh, pentacles, or well, wands, sorry, three of wands that came up. Um, there could have been a third party situation. And whether it's you or the other person, it brings on some kind of ending, okay? It's like somebody feels like they have been stabbed in the back and they can't get up. Uh, there probably was a third party situation, whether it was you or the other person. And the thing is, is you kind of suspected it anyway. Your suspicions were on target. It's like, you know, I, I kind of suspected this anyway, you know, and it feels, it, fe it feels like that was a cycle that needed to end because that's what the moon brings. The moon brings cycles and now you're being called to move on. All right. The secret has come out. We have a lot of secrets here. Okay. Th there has been. There's been a lot of secrets and I think the secrets have come out and now you're thinking about getting the hell out of there. I think you were dealing with somebody who was probably verbally, mentally, maybe even physically abusive. A big bully. All right. I feel like you guys just can't take it anymore. This is too much for me.
I need to walk away from this. I'm going to stop putting my energy into what's lost and I'm going to move forward and build a new foundation elsewhere. It's time for me to refocus so that I can be successful. It's time for me to find my inner strength and move on because I can't be living in this place of walking on eggshells and having regrets and feeling this loss and going through this grief that you've put me through. So now I'm going to take the practical, responsible approach and move on. So for many of you this week, you are either planning the move or you're moving because something has possibly ended or it's about to. And I think it's a good move because I see that there's new offers here. There's a new offer. Now, whether you've had the new sexual partner or your partner that you were with, this Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, whoever it was, could be any sign, whoever, somebody had a new partner, and the secret has come out, and now somebody has to move on, and this could be the week it happens. Interesting. Interesting. Now, if, this, if there wasn't a third-party situation, this could be just somebody deciding to move physically. I see somebody's moving, for sure. Somebody's moving. And it's over. It's, you know, the thing is, is this change is needed because a renewal is needed. When the Empress comes out, it's a renewal. It's like a rebirth. So that's what I see. I see that somebody is going through some sort of renewal, as, you know. Or, you know, if you, this could be even be a pregnancy. All right. Somebody could be coming, get, getting pregnant. But I do see that something is ending, which brings new life. I mean, that's what it is. Something is ending or has ending, which brings new life. There's been a lot of relationship turmoil for somebody. This will not be for everybody, okay? There's been some relationship turmoil that's come to the point of death. It's over. It's time for me to stand up for myself and get the hell out of here. I don't know who that's for, but... Oh, there it is. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. If you're going through a hard time, which some of you are, that's, that's evident, let your friends help you. So anyway, Capricorn, this is what I have for this week. I know it's not what you wanted. But do I think there's new love for somebody? Yes, there is. There's a new opportunity in love. But there's still a problem perhaps with your ex who isn't quite dealt with yet. But it's close. It's close to being dealt with. I think you're going to have to deal with it, okay? But I do feel like there is a... Um, there's a chance, there's a new opportunity for love where you build a new foundation elsewhere and you perhaps find your partner. But the wheel hasn't spun yet because the wheel of fortune is reversed. It's like the, the course isn't changing yet. Because there's still something to be dealt with. And you're being called to stand up for yourself. Even if it hurts. So this is a week of standing up for yourself. You have your question? You ready?
compromise. Compromise. That's your answer. Compromise. You might have to give to get. Anyhow, so Capricorn, that's what I have. Talk to you next week. And please remember that this is not a private reading. It will only re resonate with who it's meant to resonate with. Okay? Thank you for watching and talk to you next time.